have been so very blessed. We got some helpers here yesterday and we got our second paddock completely fenced in. So now we can let goats in here, pigs in here, chickens, ducks, whatever. It's a usable space for our rotational grazing. Our buck got moved. So now his shelter's inside of here and he is able to roam all inside of here. We'll probably rotate and some days leave him in and let the girls over here and eat. But for right now, he's getting his fill of all this pasture. New fence, who dis? New fence, <laughs> who dis? <laughs> I love it, Ryan. I am so happy. Like, this is such a weight off my shoulders. I didn't even realize how stressed out I was that this wasn't done until it was done. And I felt like this overwhelming relief. Like, oh, like I seriously, a whole chunk of anxiety came off of my chest yesterday. It does feel good getting this project done. We've been talking about it for quite some time. We've had it strung off for quite some time and parts of the We've project. We've done, done little done, bits of it, but we always seem to run out of time or get interrupted or, yeah. We had help with Odin yesterday too, so that made a huge difference in our ability to do things. We got some help with him finally. But yeah, having a few extra people come help and just knock it all out in one day, just a few hours, um, makes us want to keep going, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm really motivated to see this farm come into a farm even more so. It's fun. Yeah. It's fun making it what you want. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Odin is definitely a mama boy though. He had to he had to have me all day yesterday, even when we were working. I had to go in and <laughs> give him some loves. Yes. <laughs> but we did it. We did. Somehow. Yay. I don't know how we managed. You did it. <laughs> He's already getting bites. The bugs love him. Mama, did you spill your water again? I just had to refill her water. And it looks like she taught the babies <laughs> how to play in the mud. Oh my goodness, I've never seen a baby pig play fight like that. Wow, they are really going at it. Is this normal pig behavior? Or should I be concerned that that one's got a little bit of an aggressive streak? <laughs> I know kittens and puppies play like that. <laughs> Maybe I just never caught the coons doing it. Oh no, there's a different one playing like that. Okay. I never saw my coonies play like that. So I'm seeing there are some waddles on several of them. They're cute. They sure do learn young, huh? Babies are just a couple of days old, three days old. They're so tiny and acting like that. I just can't get over it. I've never seen this before. It's like fast forward baby pig fights. What on earth? What you got? What are you doing? You helping daddy? Hey Odin. What are you doing? You better not pinch your finger in that. Here, give that to mommy. Hmm? Yeah? Yeah. I know, you like helping. The new girls are doing great. Everybody has integrated just fine. The only thing I'm finding trouble with is trying to teach them a new way to drink water. We bought one of these buckets with the chicken waterers. There's three of them. So you see how the water comes out if you press on the yellow thing? Well, 
pressing on the yellow thing is not something I can get my chickens to do. So when the water runs out, it just sits there with nothing in it. So they don't, they're not coming over and pushing that down. I can come over and push it down and fill it up with water like I did here, filled up. But the chickens aren't doing that. So our, uh, our next alternative was to do... So next try was this Plesson Bell water, which is attached to the five gallon bucket so that we don't have to keep on filling our one gallon waters. And it seems to be working where the chickens are drinking from it, but it's slightly tipped. And because it's slightly tipped, I think it might be running out of water faster than it should because it's running out of the edge. So we'll see. I just put more in this bucket because it was empty this morning. So I just filled it up halfway. So I'll know if this is empty when I come back out later to check. It wasn't because they drank it. So mainly what we use are the one gallon waters down there on the ground and they have always been the best that we have found for our birds. Whenever I've bought the bigger waters than the one gallon, they have always had leaking issues no matter what brand I've tried. So these are the only ones that have ever not leaked on me unless they get a crack and then we replace them. So. Definitely trying new things, but sticking to the old standards to make sure they have water at all times. So I just have to keep coming out and checking. Now that we have the new fence up, I'm really excited about getting this area cleaned up. Behind me, this is where it used to be. And we've got our pallets being stored right here. We're gonna move those to a different location so they're not right in view, you know, make it a little bit hidden behind the scenes. Hopefully we'll be able to get some of that work done this weekend. I got the ground prepped for my fall garden. I just need to mulch the pathways, seed the hills with some fall seeds, and hopefully we'll have a, some kind of a garden this winter. Unfortunately, our summer garden got overtook with grass. So starting a new garden area at a new homestead is definitely got a lot of challenges. Uh, especially when you have a lot of other projects going on and a one-year-old. <laughs> but hopefully as we get more things done, we will get more things done in the garden as well. One of my huge garden goals this fall is not only to get my food forest planted, but to get my carnivorous bog garden planted as well. I've got a great start of plants. Tons of neat carnivorous plants that will fill the bog garden and pond area and we'll have some live sphagnum moss growing. It'll be beautiful and amazing. Can't wait. You helping? Well, clearly they're not using the bell water. Well, they're using it, but it's leaking. So clearly it's not working right. Put that down because they've drank both of those gallons in less than 12 hours. All right, so, so they are clearly using it. It's working, but it's running out the sides, I think. They're blocking it right now. I'm trying to get a good view. That's not working, that's a butt. So as with any temporary structure, the tarp was holding water in between the pallet slats when it rained, so I just had to pull it off and that flooded them, unfortunately. It looks like they're roosting on top of the nesting boxes, so we gotta probably try a different... I don't like using PVC as a roosting bar. I'm gonna get something different for them. We got a really good fence here. Take the time to fine-tune all the stuff we didn't get to do last weekend, so we're putting extra staples off any extra slack that we left and making everything nice and tight. Toit y'all. So we're over here just playing around with water. Right? You're just playing with it, aren't you? While Ryan touches up the spots that needed a little more touch up staples and such. We got the hard work done with the help of some dear friends. 
So he was able to go around. Ryan actually messed up his shoulder pretty bad the weekend before last. And uh, he's been pretty incapacitated. So he's using his left hand to hammer in the staples because his right hand is not working because of his shoulder. Tough guy, huh? Lucky, lucky lady I am. Yeah, your daughter is awesome. He's setting you a good example, huh? <laughs> All right, let's say we fix this roof and get these chickens their shade back, huh? Would you do that with me? I came up with the idea that it needs to slope so that it drains off somewhere and not go in between the slats. And unfortunately, the roof is already sloping in towards their shelter. So right this moment, that's the only way I'm going to be able to do it. But what I want to do is put a pole in the middle and push the roof up right there so that it slopes back. But until I can do that, I'm going to use this board right here. It's the bottom of a dog kennel. And I'm going to put that on top so that the water at least doesn't puddle. And that way it's not um, all going to be dumped out at once. It'll be gradual. I turned my back on you for one second. One second, and you found water. Buddy, you sure love water, don't you? Yeah. I guess maybe we should go fill up the pool. That's what you need. You need some playtime in the water. Yeah, you love water. And it's hot out here. Too hot for working. All right, I got the tarp back up so they have shade until I can get a pole in the middle. I'll probably do that this weekend. I just, it's really hard to do anything when I am constantly watching this beautiful red-headed Viking boy. Keeping him safe, keeping him happy. That's my number one job. No, 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 no. <laughs> don't drink the... Don't, don't drink the livestock water, baby. I'll get you some water. <laughs> uh, goober baby. He does that in the bathtub, too. I'm always like, don't drink it. <laughs> you love water. I open my water and Is that better? <laughs> Odin, you like the water? <laughs> Help him up, Rowan. He can't stand. There we go. <gasps> yeah, you like that water. Couldn't even wait for me to fill it all the way up. I had to jump in. <laughs> oh, be careful. We don't want to hit anybody in the face or the ears. 